Hello everyone, Digfig here and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the host, an alien shotgun. Um, we call them aliens because they got alien barrels on them. Some people call them E-Tech. It happens. Now, what does this alien barrel actually do to this gun? Well, this thing shoots kind of like uh, some of the other alien guns. Where it shoots an orb out, has an arc to it, hits the ground, explodes. Um, but instead of like exploding into a whole bunch of other different projectiles, it just like keeps going. Like it seems like it bounces and ricochets off the ground. Um, and it goes all over the place. It's pretty cool. It seems to have, I can't quite figure it out if you shoot this thing, if it has like amount of bounces or cause I've had it disappear after like five bounces. I've had it disappear after like two bounces. I think it's like a total travel time, no matter where it bounces until it vanishes. That's kind of what makes sense to me. Um, this is a times two one, the times one ones, I think actually perform a little bit better for some reason, but I'm going to showcase the times two, because I think my times two isn't performing because of the uh, corrosive rather than it being like fire or matching the elements possibly to the mobs I've been fighting. But either way, I really like both the single and the double fires of these. Um, I don't think these can roll that 620 damage barrel. If you guys have any crazy different ones than I do, I would love to know if they even exist out there because I really, really enjoy this gun. Now, as for the way this gun looks, uh, it's the same as all these other guns for me. I just really like the way they look. I love this animation. I love that you can see the element flowing through them. I love that the eyes open and close, the tentacles move. I just think they did an excellent job in all these alien barrels. Uh, very well animated and looks so cool. Now, for my personal thoughts and overview, I actually found out about this gun on my Let's Play series with Moe's over on my other channel. A little bit of self-promotion there. But um, either way, you guys can see here, I busted out the fire one by default. My bad. But either way, I found out about this thing on that Let's Play, and I was like, this thing is just deleting these mobs, and it was just making my playthrough so much fun and so easy. So I actually farmed one out on this character, and um, they're really fun. I really do enjoy this gun. I like this using this gun more than I do the uh, tuberance, protuberance, and I don't know why, because the protuberance does way more damage, is way cooler, like, I don't know. But I just enjoy this one more for some reason. Um, it definitely underperforms credit. I think this is a good gun, a strong gun, a very strong gun. Um, it's why I say the protuberance is just stupidly overpowered because I think it should perform somewhere around this gun. They just have different bounce mechanics. Um, but I did, like I did say before, there seems to be a trade-off with the times two one of these have a smaller AOE effect than the times one ones. I can show you guys that real quick. Because the times one here is 360 splash radius and this is 300. So there's definitely an actual decent trade-off between the uh, larger AOE or the, um more projectile shot which is kind of cool if they do a good trade-off um, that's why i think uh having both is definitely worth it maybe you yourself let me know your opinion if you agree with that or not or if the times two is just always better um i'm still on the fence about it you could definitely lean towards the times two just always being better but i mean the gun's reload is a mellow on so it is kind of long compared to other guns um you do have to reload it quite frequently with the magazine size but it's just super entertaining watching these things fly around and bounce around everywhere and sometimes you get like these crazy lucky bounces where you almost think these things are like homing and it just drills like every mob in the area and it looks so good and works so well um i did take this thing into the uh mayhem 3 and it did perform a lot better than some of the other guns i take in there um, i was actually able to kill whole waves of a uh, circle of slaughter and it was working pretty darn well um with a completely neutral roll up there too i got lucky with that one um, so I did definitely say it's a Mayhem 3 viable gun. Um, according to the poll you guys asked, uh, it's not because nothing is because y'all crazy. And that poll didn't help me at all. But I do appreciate all the feedback. And it's pretty darn awesome. What are you doing up here anointed? Why is there even an anointed on the field? You freaking non-Mayhem mode. Now, you just try and do a nice relaxing overview of a gun. And this happens. But it does show this case how good this gun can be. He was quite easy to destroy. Poison slag. Well, now we're going to swap over the flame one. And we can showcase this one a little. Because, uh, you can't physically damage this thing with the other one. And it got the job done. I really do like having multiple of these in the inventory. Just swap them around so you can actually match health bars and stuff. It just makes it feel that much better. Um, I haven't even really talked about the gun that much, but we'll get out of here. So, in short, I really like these guns. I think they're very strong. I think they are definitely in the viable tier. They're really cool to use. They're fun. Um, they do drop in purple and blues. There are a whole bunch of different versions. Uh, I've seen it in all elements. 
Um, it also can drop with the times two rolls, which is really good to know. Let me know what you guys think of these guns and if you use any of them and what you guys think about this one compared to some of the other alien ones. And um, if you're looking to get these, unfortunately, they're an open world drop. You can get them absolutely anywhere. Some people have them like dropping from the sky. Some people can't seem to find them at all. So it's really just complete RNG, guys, and I know she could be a bitch. So just play the game. Keep an eye out for them, especially if you're like going through true Vault Hunter mode at level 50. Just, just keep an eye out on the ground for these little alien barrels, and I'm sure they'll drop for you guys. Thank you guys for stopping by and checking out the video. The support's been absolutely amazing. And if you like this video appearing above me here, there should be a playlist of a whole bunch of videos just like this one. And if you like some of those, think about liking, subscribing, commenting, hitting the bell notification, uh, watching all my content front to back to really help my analytics. And if you really like all my stuff, I have another channel called DigFigs Gaming where I do a bunch of Let's Play videos. And uh, there should be a thing in the middle of the screen appearing here shortly that you can uh, click on to go over there. And I will see you guys in the next video. DigFig out! Hmm. What is this shot? Holy crap, it's got goo on the end. It's slimy. Yeah. Who wants to touch this thing? Can we one hand this? Nope, nope, we can't. Ah, damn it, you really need to. Maybe I had gloves or something, I could touch the slimy stuff, knock it on my hand. <laughs> Bye, guys.